Wait, 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 exactly, how are we going to tie this into the top ten again? Like, what did this happen? Because we're living in a real world! But it's not very fun. What's up guys, John from ARTV. I don't even know what that intro was, so here's me trying to distract you from thinking about that ever again with the top 10 Paramore songs. Paramore have consistently been one of my favorite bands over the years. In fact, I'd probably place them inside of the top 10 if I had to make a top 10 bands list, which is always so hard. You guys always ask for that. Maybe we'll get to that someday, we'll see. Paramore blend in alternative rock, pop, punk, pop, indie, folk, a lot of different genres, especially on their last self-titled album, and I can't wait to see what they do next. Yes, it's been kind of a shuffleboard with all of the members kind of coming and going, really just going for the most part, and the most recent loss was Jeremy Davis, the longtime bassist, a founding member, and really, Haley Williams is the only constant for this band at this point. And I like that they've been able to stay so consistent over the years, even though the lineup is continuously changing, and their music is just very powerful, honestly, very heartfelt at the same time. It's something that gets across a lot of emotion, fun, anxiety, feelings, all sorts of different spirits flowing in the room, and that's just why I connect with them so much. They hit on so many different specific points, and they just make fantastic music. It was a very, very tough time counting down my list for this. There was a lot of shuffling things around. I didn't know where to put this, where to put that, and I know that I'm gonna get crucified, but I'm letting you know in advance that there's no all we know is falling represented here on this list. It's just my opinion. It's my least favorite album by them, their debut that came out 11 years ago at the time of recording this video, but there's a lot of different stuff here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy watching it. Check the description for my honorable mentions. Other than that, let's start the countdown. Brick by Boring Brick, always one of my favorite Paramore songs. I love that this song and its video actually play out like a fairy tale. It's fascinating to dive into this world. Haley Williams is such a confident and powerful vocalist, and it really shows big time here. She kind of takes the spotlight. Not that the instrumental doesn't kick ass, because it absolutely does. Really kicks the volume up a lot, and especially the outro on this thing. It's just that really all pen members are firing on all cylinders. One. Some of us have to grow up sometimes. If I have to, I'm gonna leave you behind. This record came in and it's such a critical time for me. I remember listening through the self-titled Paramore album at the beach. I went with a couple of friends that I hadn't known for too long. I had just kind of had a falling out with some other friends and some new people kind of came and took their place and those friends came to stay. The other ones were obviously fleeting notions in the night and this song at the time was just a perfect representation for what I was feeling. Grow Up is just fascinating on a lyrical level and of course just the way that the percussion and even the bass lines hit on this track. It's just so slick and kind of fast paced once the chorus gets here. It's just irresistible each time that she brings that vocal melody to the forefront of the chorus. It's one of those tracks that sticks like glue. Misery Business was the first Paramore song that many people found, and me as well. That one and Crush, Crush, Crush came at the same time, and Misery Business just telling the story of being very jealous, being a little bit conceited, but trying to hold off of the gas a little bit, but at the same time pushing the fact that, hey, I could get this guy if I really wanted him. You guys are gonna break up at some point. Something's gonna happen. Maybe I'm gonna insert myself into the picture and take you out. Hard hitting rock track, just a great alternative sound that really kind of defined the late 2000s movement of just emo and pop punk. And that's why this song has stayed relevant for so, so long. It's got a timeless message that a lot of teenagers, I think, connect with, and it's something that's still 
fun as hell to rock out to as a 24 year old guy. Turn It Off is about losing hope but not becoming hopeless. It's a track that just still sees that glimmer in the eye before taking that dive off of the cliff. Things are gonna get worse, but you're gonna manage to rebuild yourself somehow. I love how this track kind of builds up to its chorus and has that nice guitar outro on the track. Really everything about this track is just perfect. It's one of the exemplary reasons of why I love Brand New Eyes so much. Yeah, you're gonna see a lot of love for Brand New Eyes on this list. It's my favorite Paramore album, and All I Wanted comes in at number six. All I Wanted is just heartbreaking, honestly. I don't know if I put this on my list of seven songs that will break your heart on my second channel, Beyond Air TV or not, but this is one of those ones where you're just like, damn, this is soul crushing, soul sucking in a way, but at the same time, you can't help but just sit there and say, I'm so sorry that somebody hurt you. I'll be damned if anybody says that Haley Williams doesn't have a great voice, especially on this song. Just listen to that part where it just goes a cappella, where she's singing All I Wanted Was You and just showing that range. She's a monster behind the mic and I fucking love it. The track gives a perfect feeling of somebody sitting around, kind of moping around on a dreary morning, I feel like, drinking their coffee, trying to go about their date, but can't get this one person off of their mental. And it showcases itself kind of flaring up again and again and then packing itself in with a monster punch in the chorus of the track and especially as it goes on and on there's so many different sides to the song I can't help but love this song and give it a spot at number six Before I get any comments about it, yes, part two is a fantastic track as well, but the original Let the Flames Begin is the one making the list today. I love the way that the vocals are kind of layered on the chorus of this track and the guitars are so persistent all throughout. I think it's one of the tracks that's remained a fan favorite for a reason. One thing I'll note about Paramore and their music and the longevity of it is the fact that it seems kind of timeless, even as they grow up and I grew up with them. It's not one of those things that just fades away from me or I feel a bit of a rift between between us or a disconnect like I will with certain bands like Linkin Park or Blink-182, Good Charlotte on a handful of their tracks, especially as I started getting older, I think things get a little bit cheesier to me in some ways, but I think that Paramore and a reason that I've always respected them just so, so much is the fact that their music just has a message that feels very persistent and from the heart and genuine for really anyone of any age. In the Morning is one of those songs that a lot of people would not expect to see on this list, especially not charting so high. And I've loved this song for a long time, and I've gotten into it even more over the past year. It's one of those things that would come up on shuffle pretty often. It reminds me a lot of Fleetwood Mac, of course. They combine the song with Landslide pretty often in their live performances. It's hard to not draw those comparisons there. But it's one of those tracks that just feels very lonely, very disheartened in a way, but at the same time, still hopeful. And that's something that I find myself coming back to and being drawn to for a reason. It's just mainly built around an acoustic guitar, Taylor York taking over the duties there, and Haley just coming through with a simmering vocal performance that really maybe doesn't necessarily light up like it does on Brick by Boring Brick or some of the other tracks that I've highlighted on this top 10 countdown. But it's one of those ones that's super effective because of the way that she sells the song. She sells it as kind of like a worn out old soul that's tried so hard for a long time. She's getting up grinding away, going through the routine over and over again just to get it done. But at the same time, she's still hopeful that something great's coming her way. Cause after all this time, I'm still into you.
perhaps the poppiest song that Paramore ever did, but damn it all to hell if this song doesn't rock. It rocks so hard. I love the guitar line on it. I love just how fiery it feels. It's got this pop appeal, but at the same time, definitely grounded in an alternative rock approach. And I think that once the guitars really start rollicking, the bass starts shaking, it's just an irresistible groove that you'd be crazy to deny. Let me tell you, it was a grueling fight to the death for these two songs in my head. I could not pick one way or the other, and I finally just went with my gut, and this is what I'm feeling right now. It does fluctuate, I'm gonna let you know right off the bat, but playing God for now is clocking in at number two. Easily Paramore's most strongly written song, in my opinion. It's just one of the ones that has so many memorable lines. Next time you point a finger, I'll point you to the mirror. If God's the game that you're playing, well, we must get more acquainted because it has to be so lonely to be the only one who's holy, calling people out, tensions of the band at the time, fighting with members like the Faro brothers and the whole falling out there. A lot of people say that that's what it's about. I don't think that it's ever been specifically confirmed, just hinted at, but it's just a ferocious monster of a track that sees these inner demons presenting themselves in the form of a track. And uh, let me tell you that it's beautiful the way it all goes down. Major thumbs down for Twilight, major thumbs up for Paramore. As much as I hate to admit it, the aesthetic of Twilight does fit well with this track. Just kind of like a moody Seattle rainy feel. I don't know. It feels like it should have been filmed out in the woods for the music video and it totally was. And I can picture just somebody just out in the woods lost, not knowing what to do with themselves. How did we get here? I used to know you so well, but it's talking about really a relationship and just the mental space and the mental capacity that they have to try and figure this thing out, diffuse the problem before it explodes. It's hard to pin down just one reason why I love this track so much, but I have to say that the instrumental is probably up there in terms of top reasons. It's just something that creates that mood shift, that darker atmosphere that blends so well with Haley Williams's lyrics and vocals on the track. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my top 10 Paramore songs list. Keep in mind this was just my personal list. Some people in the comments seem to get very confused and think this is me trying to shove it down your throat, but this should be your top 10 list as well. No, everybody is different. There's no such thing as just a defining list of the top 10 songs for a band. It's just not possible unless you're ranking them on popularity. Cough, cough. Watch Mojo. Thanks for hitting the like button on this video. Subscribe to the channel because friends don't let friends go unsubscribed. And if you're curious, I just launched my Patreon account. I keep forgetting to plug it, but yeah, it's live now. If you would like to find out more about that, it's the top link in the description down below. Become my patron, get some cool rewards, and uh, unlock some new series. Let's let's hopefully do that in the next couple of months. That'd be cool to get some new content out to you guys and uh, get you involved as well. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope to see you very very soon right here on ARTV.